Hello everyone! Today I'll be teaching you how to save hours of development time by creating your own Unity template in 5 minutes. If you prefer a written tutorial, you'll find one in the description below. Alright, so we're going to want to start off by opening up Unity Hub. And I'm going to use this Unity VR 2022 project that I created in a previous video. Uh, you can start a new project and install your own packages that you want to customize for your template. But I'm going to start off with this guy and I've already had it opened up. So here we are. All right. And if you look around in this project, you can kind of see that I already have it set up for VR development. Uh, if you wanted to set your project up for 2D or 3D, it should work. You just want to make sure before we go on to the next steps that you go into package manager and you've installed all the packages that you want for your template. Since this project's already set up and ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and move on and start to locate the project template folder, which we're going to need in order to create our own template. All right. And from here, we need to locate where our Unity program is installed. Uh, I'm going to flash on the screen a, an, an example pathway of what your pathway might look like for this. Uh, my Unity is installed on my C drive, so I come down to here, go to Unity, go to Hub, go to Editor. Uh, important note here, uh, if you have different versions of Unity and you want to make a template for one of them, just make sure to select the right version. So I'm going to click this, that's the only one I have installed. Editor, Data, Resources package manager and then project templates and this is what we've been looking for all right and from here we're going to want to open up one of these .tgz files uh, any of them should work i like to use 7-zip because why not it's free uh, and another thing i like to do here is just kind of copy this pathway paste it into here and just like that we're ready to open one of these up uh, I'm going to choose this guy, but again, any of them should work. Click, click, and what we're looking for here is the packages. It's always good to double check, click here, and it should like look like this on the inside. Uh, but we're going to want to go back one folder, back to where that package was, and we are going to extract it out. So extracting this out is as easy as taking this package and just dropping it right in there. I'm sure, yeah. And there we go. All right, and from here, we're gonna to wanna to open up the package that we extracted and locate this package.json. Use whatever editor you like. I'm just gonna use Visual Studio. And we're going to change three things here, starting off with the name. Uh, you wanna keep this naming convention, the com.unity.template, but right here is where we're gonna change it. I'm gonna call it the VR shrimp template. Why not? And for display name, let's call it VR yeah, Shrimp Template. And this is what is going to display in Unity Hub. So you can name it whatever you'd like. And down here is going to be the description. And this will just help you keep things organized so you know what template it is and what you're doing with it. VR Template that smells pretty shrimpy. Yeah, that sounds right. All right, boom, and we'll save that. All right, and so now that we have changed this, it's good to go. I'm going to go ahead and exit out. And we're going to need to go into the project data folder here. And we need to delete these three files. But before we do that, I want to show you why. Uh, we're going to go in here. This is the project I want to copy over and make a template out of. I'm going to go ahead and show an explorer. And essentially what we're doing is we're taking the files from this and putting them in here. And you can copy and paste, but I don't know, I'm paranoid, so I like to delete them. So we need the assets, packages, and project settings. Gonna delete that. Asset, packages, project settings. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy, paste, and that is good to go. And then there is one last minor detail here before we can make a template out of this. We got to go into project settings and we need to look for something called project version dot text. There it is. And we have to delete this. Uh, if you don't delete this, the whole thing doesn't work. So make sure you do not forget that step. I've done it way too many times. 
All right, and now with that, we're ready to go. I'm gonna back out here, and let's see. So we're back to packages, and you know what I need to do? I need to use 7-zip again. And make sure to run that as administrator if you're using Windows, otherwise this might cut this next step, might cause a hiccup. So, you know, I'm back into this little file system here, and I'm gonna go into 7-zip, add to archive, and you're going to want it as tar format. Now I know we're aiming for it to be .tgz. Uh, that's just the compressed version of tar or just signaling it's the compressed version of tar. And for this name, we're actually going to have to go back into our code that we changed. And you're going to want to steal this. That's the name you're going to want to put in here. And then at the very end, just .tgz and OK. And you can see it popped up right there. Now that we have this TGZ file, we're set to go. We just got to make sure to delete this package in here. Don't need that anymore. Exit out of here. And we need to restart Unity Hub. So our template shows up. So I'm going to go ahead and quit it. And start it up again. And we should be able to see it. Let's see here, go to new project and ooh, there it is, a VR shrimp template. This VR template that smells pretty shrimpy. All right, and you'll see if I uh, create a new project. And just like that, uh, this is a brand new project and it has everything set up like I had before ready to go for VR development. And so you can use this guide to help you out and create whatever template you want so you don't have to waste any more time installing packages or setting up an environment. Hope this helped you guys out. See you next time.